Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. So I'm going to be talking about Dog Pack 4 or 4 really fast. And this video that he created literally came out like 4 days ago. So it is like old news by now. But at the same time, like I see people still talking about this and making videos. Um, so I don't think that me making a video 4 days later about my reaction about this is going to uh, be too late. So I just might as well say it because I'm interested in this subject. So it is what it is. And also been really really busy in the past four days because you know school started here in Canada and whew, I've just been busy you know with my part-time job as well so you know it's just, it's no longer summertime so I don't have like free time anymore so that's also why I've been like slow about making this video but I'm doing it now so please 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 don't be like all oh, this guy's making a video like four days later like there's still people like talking about this now so like Umpa Vale just created a video like literally 10 hours ago from when I'm making this video now and he actually was talking about the whole dog pack situation where he was talking about it was the third video that he made trying to expose Mr. Beast and this video actually didn't get like millions and millions of views like his other two uh first two videos did but um this one was just kind of like a bust because everybody ag agrees that like this one it just didn't do that much research and he was just unprofessional in this video and you know i when it comes to dog pack 404 and mr beast him trying to expose mr beast i do think that he is in the right to try to expose mr beast however i think he's like his bark is a lot bigger than his bite basically like what the hell is that saying where it's like you can bark all you want but like there's no actual like bite like that's what dog pack does like he just talks a lot of shit but he really has no backup and proof because you know when he got his cease and desist letter from mr beast um saying that like uh he can't make any videos about mr beast dog pack himself was trying to be like um convincing his audience that he worked for mr beast for like years and years like he tried to seem like he was like a legit like employer by mr beast you know like he was up in the ranks he was like a manager position sh shit like that you know but it turns out <laughs> in the cease and desist letter that mr beast sent him um mr beast's lawyer whoever made that letter basically was explaining that um dog pack only worked there for fucking three weeks <laughs> and then he got fired he didn't even quit because dog track dog pack was trying to make him seem like uh he got like he um like he quit basically and that's not the case at all like he actually got fired because people found out that he just wasn't doing a good job he wasn't paying attention to what he was supposed to be doing and apparently he like took items from the company as well that he wasn't supposed to take just like petty st stuff like that and eventually they had to let him go after three weeks <laughs> which hey listen like I know many, many people that, you know, can't hold jobs. And I get it. Like, he's still a young guy. Dog pack, 404. I think he's in his, like, early 20s. But, like, bro, like, please don't, like, fucking bark bigger than you as bigger than you can bite like it's just not a good look because you know he has beef with keemstar and keemstar explained this situation really fucking well what i just said he was saying that like um fucking exactly what i just said so um because i guess like keemstar was talking about his videos and he, dog pack found out and he started just talking shit about keemstar and calling him some I, corn star some i don't know he made up like this like lame corny term for keemstar trying to make fun of keemstar and i'm like bro like keemstar yes he is like kind of cringe sometimes but dog crack 404 is clearly a clout tracer and every time his um videos uh are mentioned by like bigger youtubers he'll always be the one like right away just like commenting and being like oh what did you say about me what did you like this guy's clearly a clout tracer you know and it's just he's unprofessional because this video that he made was about um it was just him being fucking homophobic basically and transphobic because apparently in this video he was mostly talking about um this gay man who i don't know if this gay man was transgender or not but um the gay man's name was latoya or lakoya i believe and um basically she or he what i don't know if she was transgender or whatever but like but i'm just gonna say he because that's he was 
clearly a gay man. So he was a gay man probably in his like late 30s or early 40s or something like that, maybe 50s. But apparently um, he worked for Mr. Beast and Mr. Beast gave him like this really um, high position in his company. I think he was like the president of like telemarketing or something. I don't fucking know. What the hell is telemarketing? Something, a president of some type of company that Mr. Beast owns, okay? So basically a high ranking position. And apparently um, he even had his own assistant, LaCoya, and the assistant was like this 18-year-old straight dude or something like that. And um, LaCoya, um, there was rumors saying that LaCoya acted really inappropriately with the 18-year-old. And I'm sorry, like, listen, I'm not trying to laugh at this situation. I just find it funny that Dog Pack 4, 4 is trying to make LaCoya look like a fucking freak because we all know 18 is an adult. It wasn't like the person was a minor. Like, 18 is a legal fucking adult. So if LaCoya is flirting with the legal adult, I feel like, yeah, if the person didn't want it, then, yeah, then, and they told them they feel uncomfortable. Okay, enough is enough. I get it. But, like, bro, there's nothing wrong with, like, a gay man trying to flirt with, like, a, a, a fucking adult let's just put it that way like you're just being fucking homophobic and he was trying to make mr beast look bad for hiring this you know 30 or something year old like gay transgender person named lakoya or something like that and the fact that lakoya was caught like trying to flirt with the her 18 year old assistant because apparently they shared a hotel room together and lakoya was just like just wearing like naughty outfits or something like that and he, Apparently, look, Koya made the 18-year-old feel uncomfortable. That's all there was to it. Like, bro, like, it was just homophobic, like, behavior from Dog Pack. And I was so shocked because, like, he... I honestly thought he wasn't, like, a homophobe when I first found out about him. Like, I didn't think he had that in him, but apparently he does. And this is why people are, aren't taking him serious because, like, he's just... He's being a fucking homophobe. And it's like, bro, like he's disgusting and i just like i get why he put like fucking this jake weto guy into his interview in part two because jake weto we all know is like a fucking cloud chaser and this dude lies about everything and he pretends to fake cries and shit like that like it was just like his second interview that he made like yeah it was just really really horrible um just yeah dog pack 404 is just really really like his true colors are showing and that's why Keemstar made a whole video about him just saying that you know he has no validity to his point he's just a cloud chaser and everybody's gonna forget about him basically in a couple of like days or so or years because like he just doesn't have credibility to his voice and I have to agree with Keemstar and that's just basically my opinion about this like he lost it like dog pack 404 literally lost his mind and the fact that he's still making videos even though he got a cease and desist i don't understand how this dude literally like is not in jail because like you're not supposed to be making videos about you about mr beast if he's giving if his lawyer is giving a cease and desist how is he still making videos you know and on top of that he's making like homophobic videos now and just ill like this guy is he's just gross and i'm so sorry because like i'm not trying to like say that all sh young straight guys like that are bad because i know a lot of young straight guys aren't homophobic and they're cool with the lgbt so this guy is clearly like a fucking punk ass like tw i think he's like 22 or 24 i'm not even fucking sure but he's just a young punk ass like homophobic douchebag and it's just, he needs to go. He needs to fucking go. So I'm rooting for Keemstar to continue making videos about him and bashing him because everybody listens to Keemstar because this dude is like a baller. And no, even Cam Nuggets, um, who is a friend of Dog Pack 404, and he's been covering the Mr. B situation like the most out of anybody. Okay, I'm going to finish this video off really fast. I need a final drink of water. My throat is fucking sore. One sec. <sighs> okay. So... Basically, yeah, um, Cam Nuggets made a video um, that uh, basically saying what I'm saying, that he watched the third part uh, about Dog Pack 404's video about LaCoya, and basically he was saying that it was a bust, and Cam Nuggets is actually Dog Pack 404's friend, so literally for Cam Nuggets to be saying the same thing that I'm saying, like, I'm not the only one 
thinking this. Like, Keemstar isn't the only one thinking this either. Like, you know, everybody's just turning their back on Dog Pack 404, and it's like, thank you, Karma. <laughs> you know, the LGBT, like, literally straight people have our back straight guys have our back <laughs> you know so for all the lgbt gay guys out there who like think that all straight guys hate us like no trust me like we have fucking allies from the straight dude communities we just gotta fucking watch out for punk ass motherfuckers like dog pack 404 who is clearly fucking homophobic and doesn't know what the fuck he's talking about and i really hope that this guy gets put in job because literally just for the gay community because this guy literally is a scumbag and he needs to like just go to jail so he because i honestly think that mr beast yes he does hire like disgusting like he he hired dog pack 404 for fuck's sakes and he hired jake weddle and those are like disgusting like punk ass like straight white dudes that you know you can't trust because they're just like they won't do a good job first of all in their job and then second they're gonna like talk shit about your company and that's been what i've been trying to warn mr beast all along when i first started about making videos about Mr. Beast was that, and you guys have to realize my username is Psychic Gayboy, like, I can fuck, Psychic Gayboy Black Hole, like, I can fucking break future, so subscribe, but literally, like, if you want entertainment, because you'll see, like, everything that I say will always come up true, but I said in the videos, when I first started making Mr. Beast videos, like, a year and a half ago, that he needs to stop hiring punk-ass motherfuckers like that, and he needs to hire, like, people of color, or, like, just, like, LGBT people, um, that, you know, will be loyal to his company, because, Mr. Beast is an amazing person. He helps build wells for Africa. You know, he's a really, really good fucking person. And, you know, compare him with, like, other straight white dudes who use their fucking platform to, like, go to fucking Thailand or promote human sex trafficking. And it's just not a good look. And when Mr. Beast, like, he's, he's a straight white man and he's very successful and he doesn't use his platform to promote, like, human sex trafficking and shit like that. You know, he actually uses his platform to help, like, the world, like, freaking africa building wells and stuff like that feeling homeless saving the ocean like he's actually a good fucking person and i'm just saying that he needs to stop like hiring like these fucking douchey white punk ass straight guys like fucking dog pack and jake widow you know who just want clout and attention like that's all i've been trying to warn mr b it's like i may sound like a fucking asshole when you first watch those videos but i'm actually like a fan of mr b so i do have to say i agree with um mr b for the most part and i really hope that you know this fucking cloud tracer homophobe dog pack 404 literally gets put in jail because this guy is being a fucking creep now and he's being homophobic for no reason so that's my whole opinion on this subscribe if you're interested in my personality and if any more videos about this topic comes out i will be making uh follow-up videos because literally mr beast is the biggest fucking youtuber on you know the fucking platform and uh, it would be a dream come true if i can make videos about him and they would get like hundreds or if not like thousands if not hundreds of thousands of views because you know i really do appreciate mr beast so that youtube please fucking put my fucking channel like my videos about mr beast on on the fucking youtube algorithm because every single time that i make videos about him they don't go on the algorithm so please youtube help me out here all my fans and all mr beast fans please fucking subscribe and share my channel so you know i can start fucking making content about him because you know i really do appreciate his work and i'm on to M mr beast and um anybody wants to shit talk about him like fucking ludwig i fucking hate ludwig he fucking betrayed his back of mr beast and i did make a video about that so if you guys want to see because it didn't go on the fucking youtube algorithm unfortunately but if you guys want to see um how i feel about ludwig then please watch that video and like i said any more Mr. Beast videos that comes out, I'll be making videos about it right away because, you know, this this whole, like, Mr. Beast situation just really interests me. I don't know why. But anyways, I love you guys so much. Peace out.